Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Frugal Homestead. So I woke up this morning. I told myself that we're going to complete something today. So I decided I was going to complete our firewood for the year. I went down to the lot, loaded up the rest of the wood I had split up. <coughs> also brought up some other stuff that needed to run through the chop saw. We're going to try and finish this out. Come along with us. So as you can see, I've got the truck pretty heavily loaded. And we got a pretty good pile here. It needs to run through the chop saw there. The last couple weeks, about a week and a half really, I've been on and off working on the pile and filled the building completely out. We are now outside the building and I've got side rows all the way out so we just fill in between here. As you can see we're pretty much on our last row. There's room for more in the front here if I acquire it in this area throughout the year but also over here As you can see, we've got a lean-to on the side here that we added that has a good bit of wood in it. Probably about three and a half cords, I'd guess. Maybe three cords. And everything you see is stacked to the actual very top, stacked. Nothing is tossed in. So we're guessing overall we've got about 10 to 12 cords here once this is all stacked up and finished. Now I've got a big mess to clean. As you can see I've got wood there. That's why I said that front part will be when I pick up all this stuff. But yep, let's get started here. We've got to get all that stacked and then get all this cut up through the chop saw and stacked. I know a lot of you guys are used to seeing my wife Missy out here helping me do this stuff. But because of the kind of business shutdown for, you know, with this virus and stuff, we are practicing quarantine here just to limit our exposure to other people and also just because we can, because we have stuff to do. We already have the means and the setup to be here by ourselves and not bother anybody. Now my granddaughter does come up when necessary so my kids can go to work. You know, they're deemed essential so they need to be going to work. So we're more than glad to take her. Obviously we take steps to try and keep her clean. That said, my wife is working from home as of now. And while I would love to have some help, she does what she can when she's not working because she works 10 hour days staring at a computer screen in our bedroom all day so yeah i wouldn't trade places with her for the world right now but she's doing what she's got to do so i'm out here getting it done i would much rather be out here doesn't matter what the temperature is i'd rather be outside working than stuck behind that computer for 10 hours a day four days a week but i love my wife you know she's in a place where she can work right now at home safe I know a lot of people don't have that option so we are blessed um, as far as my situation goes nobody wants you coming to their house and fixing nothing right now so works kind of dried up for me for a while 
which is all right. We're well planned for things like this, financially and just in every other way. Now, this is the end of the firewood for us. Um, I'll get the rest of this loaded here. But at the end of this video, I'll take you guys down to the lot and show you what we have left down there because any of you that are subscribers know we've been hauling home huge amounts of wood and you need to see what's still down there. And we'll talk about what we're going to do with that wood, when it's going to get processed, etc. So, finish my coffee break and then it's time to get back to unloading this, getting this stacked and getting it done for the day. Alright, so we have the pile, everything's out of the truck, we actually started that extra road that I wasn't actually planning on using, but that's okay, plenty of room to throw on top. Time to start running the chop saw, we're going to work on cutting this pile up here, getting it all through the chop saw and all onto the pile, and as you can see the truck's empty. So let's get this next step done, then we'll take a ride down to the lot and we'll show you what's left and what we're planning to do with it. Well, that does it for the 2020 firewood season. It is April 2nd, guys. And for those of you that burn wood, you'll understand why we're excited to be done this early. It leaves so much time this summer that I don't have to deal with this or worry about this. Now, we're not done doing firewood for the year. We're done with our home firewood. So, I'm going to take you guys down to the lot. We'll talk about what we got left and what we're going to do. So, as you guys can see, we haven't even used half of what we have. There's huge, huge pieces of sycamore here and a bunch of pine with some birch and some uh, osage orange and other things back there still need processed a lot of it still needs cut some just need split and they're just huge rounds and I wasn't trying to kill myself the reality is though we need a large amount of wood for cooking outside we need a large amount of wood for our backpacking trips when we're doing our car camping we need a large amount of wood for friends and stuff that need to come and get some when they're down in this area camping at different places. And we're going to be doing some things with um, rocket mass in the future. Now there is also another DACA wood burning furnace in my garage that I'm going to redo this year. And we're going to put it back in service. So we're going to need wood for that too. So we're still going to need a lot of wood guys. We really are. And this is going to come in handy. Now I will also probably do about a quart or two that I'll stack out here uh, and uh, we'll call that our rainy day fund or our, you know, our Christmas fund, whatever you want to call it. When it comes the end of year, I'll put a real nice price tag on it, like $100 for a cord, a true cord, and sell it. Obviously, Sycamore's not the best wood in the world, it's definitely not the worst, but at $100 a cord done, most people won't bat an eye at that. That's kind of our prices here in Ohio, you know. That said, I'm really proud of us for utilizing this time. I hear a lot of people being told to sit on the couch and do Netflix. If you live in an apartment, maybe that is what you should do. 
but I can't live my life like that. But yet, I still want to follow the guidelines set before us. So, it really doesn't cost me anything but time to process this wood and get it done. And since we're basically kind of focused on having to do that, I just got it done fast. And no one can complain about that. We appreciate you guys coming along and watching as we do things here on the Frugal Homestead. As always, we do appreciate you, the viewer. That's why we do this. And granted, we may not do everything right. And we're always open to listen to comments if you've got ideas, questions. It doesn't matter. We want to hear from you. We want the interaction. That's why we make these videos. But if not already, please go down and hit that notifications bell and subscription button. You want to make sure you can see all of our upcoming videos. And we'd like to have you as a subscriber. So until next time, I'm Tony, and we'll see you.